Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we are trying to make a modular base. And what I mean by modular, it's we make these square patches or square modules surrounded by water and it all falls under one district. They normally have their own function. Now in the last episode, we built this and this temple area. Now this might look a little bit different and you might notice something over here. Because, because, you'd never guess what happened to me. I recorded a whole episode where I went through the comments of you guys for the last episode, talked about how I want to rearrange the temple and how we, and I did a whole episode on making this observation camping area. Look how nice that looks. Just look how nice that looks. And to clean up this um, lake and all that jazz. And when I looked at the recording, it must have recorded in like, five S fps because it was literally like a slide a slideshow so it was unusable now i've done a test recording for this one it should be okay so if you're seeing this i would say wish me luck but if you're seeing this that means it recorded absolutely fine so since i did this already in another episode i i'm not going to delete the save and record it again that just it's just not there's no point so you've seen it We've got this little stargazing area. Would love to hear your comments about what I can do differently and what you would like to see on there. And with this one, so I got a good suggest a few good few suggestions about um, moving this around, making it a little bit different. But I think I'm going to put this more in the middle and make a little garden area here to make it like a bit more like a monastery. Um, but I'm going to play around with it. Like, I'm not sure how I want this. It, we're, we're really strapped for space. And I want to make it look a little bit nicer. But you might notice, oh, oh, one more thing. We've got these bad boys running. Obviously, when there's water uh, pouring through, but when they are, we've got these lovely, lovely monuments sorting out the whole area. And that normally brings us to around 18, I believe. We've got a lot, we've done a lot. We literally just need to get the entertainment district out. And cause you didn't, cause you didn't see the last episode because it wasn't uploaded. I talked about what I'm gonna do with the entertainment district. And that is what this episode is about. So you've seen here, I'm gonna make an entertainment district here. We're gonna have a bit of fun, but in order, in order for us to do that, I cannot speak today. It's late, I've just come back from work. I wanted to get this done. I'm tired. <laughs> but in order for us to get this done, I'm going to have to delete this. And you know what that means. That means I'm going to see you in a few seconds while this all blows up. And just like that, the whole mountain is gone. Well, not the whole mountain. The part that we need to go is gone. Now, I'm going to make this module a bit different because we got to work in this space. I didn't want to make a gap here because it just takes up too much space. Also, it's going to be an open module because we're going to make a swimming pool inside here as well with all the Lidos and stuff like that. Now I did get a comment before to do um, Lidos around here, but I think I prefer it here. I think I prefer it in the entertainment district. We're going to have constant water here. It's never going to run out, but they can always have a swim, even in a drought. So in order to make it open, we're going to be using platforms instead of uh, levees. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> that is how we're going to do it. So now we need to plan out our Lidos first. I want to plan them out first because that's going to take the biggest part, I believe. How big is this? Carousel. Can I fit two in there? I can't. Maybe I can. Let's see. Let's pause it so they don't do anything. Wow. Just enough space to fit two. Okay. Okay. But that is a, that is a lot of space. <laughs> that is taking up a lot of space. Let me delete this path here because I might make it go on the backbone on these levees here. 
Now we've got to think about how we're going to get power to them. Might make them go up here. Oh, it won't be able to show it. What is that? That's five blocks out. So if we do something like this. Might as well just do it all across, right? That is the carousel area. Now, do I want to... How much power is that? That's going to be 800 power altogether. Hmm, that could work. That could work. And then... I will want some mud baths, but I want them... Because they're one high, aren't they? Yeah, they're one block high. So I want them to be sunken down a bit. So if we put a level two platform, we can adjust the height quite nicely. And we can put them. Oh, that fits like that. That actually fits like that. Now, this is not the final, the final plan. It's just a way to see what we're, what we're dealing with and how many we can get. Um, okay, where are you? There you go. <clears throat> so that's eight altogether. But then, would we be able to fit the Lidos? That is the question. If we put um, level three platforms like this, and I would I would have preferred to get more lidos in there. I don't think we're gonna be we can get. Hmm. Maybe we can put one here as well. not too bad it's not too bad but it seems a bit like jam-packed doesn't it it seems like we're just trying to pack in as much as possible and I just realized there's no pathway to get to here okay okay <laughs> well that's not good Hmm. Now we could reduce the amount that we need. How much power? Because we're, we're running on a certain amount of power as well. Okay, so that's like 400 power. That's like 1,200 power altogether, isn't it? Now we could make this come all the way out here, to be honest with you. Just like the um, power situation here. And if that is the case, then we could do something like this, which is not too bad, to be honest with you. And then we'll put pathways here and out here and across like that. And here we'll have some benches maybe. Yeah, we could do that. I am happy with that. And we've got a nice little entertainment district. But, 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 before we start building, we've got to think about power. Now, this is going to take a hell of a lot of power. <laughs> this is going to take so much power. But we've got to think about connections. Now, how are we going to connect it? So this is actually not connected to that. Okay. Whoops. So what I'm going to do here 
Because I'm going to delete this for now. Delete that. Yeah. We've got a place underneath. Okay. So I can do the same over here as well. Yes. And we can actually just put one power like this and like that. That should connect them off. In fact, I'll need to do something like this. Just to give it enough space to come from underneath. But in here, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So we know two things can live, uh, can be there. I'm thinking of using a house. <laughs> I am thinking of using a house. Now we need three blocks high. Is that three blocks? That is exactly three blocks. Now, my worry with this is that we're going to see the flooded marker and I really don't want to see that, but we're going to deal with it. <laughs> we're going to deal with it. Let's actually change this one more time to this bad boy. So then we can use a house like this. And we could do the same over here. Use the house like that. We can change that to a double, a triple connection. Like that. And that, my friends, should power every single thing on this entertainment district or entertainment module. Um, where's the carousel? There we go. So I'm hoping that does. The thing that could go wrong is that it might need to connect to this, but I don't know. Um, why, why are you taking so long? Was you auto saving? I don't know. See, it shows the connection even before it's made. So I don't think it will, to be honest with you. Let's try and do something like this. Is that, yeah, okay. So we need it to connect to this. Hmm. It might have to come around the back. <laughs> it might have to come around the back. Because if we open this up, water will get out. Which is not a terrible thing because this is an open sort of module. It's not the worst idea. Hmm. That means I'll need to blow up two more down here. It could work. It could work. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna blow up some more stuff and we'll get that power sorted and just like that it is all done look at that they're having such a blast on this carousel and all these mud baths loving it so we finally have an entertainment district uh, module i keep calling it district let's put them on because how much power is this going to take okay it's literally just over <laughs> wow just over, okay. That's not too bad, that is not too bad. And that gives us quite a lot of things done. I guess we do need more carousels and mud baths for the amount of beavers that we have, or better pathing. Or maybe they just haven't gone on it yet. But now that we've got that, we can actually start opening this bit up. Now I was gonna move this over so we can do what the original plan was to make steps. But because of this, it won't work because these have to be on the ground, unfortunately. So, and there was not enough blocks here as well. So we're going to open this up and we're going to try and add to the temple module. I don't know how yet. This temple module is giving me um, a lot to think about. <laughs> a lot to think about. And then we also need to maybe do a bit more with this and even this out 
or do something here. But that can all be done in the next episode. So unfortunately, guys, this is all I've got time for today. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.